Engines don't make power from fuel alone, they make power from the oxygen in the air. So if you don't know the conditions of the air your engine is breathing, you're tuning blind. Let me show you how you can not only view this data in real time, but record it. This is the Banks iDash. It's every gauge you've ever used, plus many you've never seen before. It displays pressures, temps, speeds, RPMs, wideband O2, and data from just about any sensor. It also displays calculated parameters that no other instrument can. This is the Banks Air Mouse ambient air sensor. By adding a Banks Air Mouse, the iDash becomes a powerful portable weather station. You unlock all the ambient air conditions as well as a host of other calculated parameters that you'll find quite handy. First, you've got ambient air temperature, the thermal energy of the air molecules. Viewed here in Fahrenheit, we also have Celsius and Kelvin or Rankine. Then there's ambient air pressure, the force exerted by the air itself. Shown here in PSI, we also have kilopascals, bar, or inches of mercury. The air mouse also displays humidity and in two flavors. Relative humidity is the percentage of how saturated the air is. In grains of H2O, shows the actual water vapor in the air with 7,000 grains equaling a pound of water. But the most important value, ambient air density mass. It's the actual weight of the air in pounds per thousand cubic feet or kilograms per hundred cubic meters, calculated from pressure, temperature, and humidity. It's how we measure the amount of oxygen molecules your engine is pulling in. Denser air means more oxygen, which means more power. With that info, the iDash calculates power potential and shows you air density ratios. That's where dry day standards like SAE J607 and J1349 come in correction factors for dyno testing. So if you're running in conditions that only give you, say, 99.4% of J1349, you know your engine's power is down 0.6% even before you hit the throttle. The iDash also shows you density altitude and pressure altitude. Density altitude tells you how high up your engine thinks it is based on the actual air density. The thinner the air, the higher the number, even if you're physically at sea level. It's often used by pilots. It's a great way to understand how elevation and weather are affecting your power. Pressure altitude is based on a standard barometric pressure of 14.7 PSIA at sea level. But here, it helps you track how far off your current pressure is from the standard, typically about a half pound of air for every thousand feet of altitude. The Banks Air Mouse allows you to measure the losses from the grill to the turbo, or in the case of a naturally aspirated vehicle, from the grill to the intake manifold. Here we're using the Banks Air Mouse to take measurements down to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit in a controlled climate chamber. Or, Take it out to the desert with its 150 degree upper threshold. When you're testing a part in a dyno cell environment, you want that part to be the only variable. We use an air mouse every time we test to ensure that if the air density changes, we know about it. Level up your Banks iDash by turning it into a powerful portable weather station with the Banks Air Mouse.